What's up guys, Xbox Mod 360 here, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing another laser pointer for you guys. It's going to be the Wicked Lasers Core laser pointer. It's a 5 milliwatt, 532 nanometer green laser pointer. So this one will run you $40, and unfortunately this is one of those products on Wicked Lasers website that has been out of stock for some time, and I kind of feel like it may never be back in stock, which kind of annoys me because being a 5 milliwatt laser, it's one of the few items on their website that they'd still be able to ship to the US so I'm really hopeful that they do restock it in the near future I did purchase mine from another laser enthusiast and he probably got it back when they were in stock so I am the second owner of this one I don't really have an unboxing video to bring you guys but I do have the accessories that came with it so to start this is just your standard wicked lasers owners manual and it's not really specific to this one laser it's pretty much the one you get with all laser pointers I think and it just has basic information about batteries and charging and cleaning the lens if you ever need to and common errors and whatnot. I also have a holster that came with it. It's a pretty nice holster. It's Velcro. It seems to be good quality. It has a little Wicked Lasers badge on it. And then of course you have the Core Laser itself and I really like this one a lot. It has a good feel to it. It has good weight. It's made of metal and the website says it's made of black polished brass so I'm guessing that's the metal it's made of unless they're lying. So like I mentioned before, it's a 5 milliwatt, 532 nanometer laser, and the 532 nanometers is basically describing the wavelength of the color, so it's a green laser pointer. So I'm going to zoom into that safety label to show you guys exactly what it says. They classify this laser as a class 3A laser pointer. And I don't actually have my own LPM, which is a laser power meter, but several members of laserpointerforums.com have used theirs with this laser. And this one actually puts an output very, very close to 5 milliwatts, give or take 1 or 2. So it may be as low as 4, it may be as high as 6 or 7, but this one's actually very close to 5 milliwatts. So it's not like all those other Chinese laser pointers that say 5 milliwatts so they can get past customs when they're really 50 to 60 milliwatts and they're able to burn. This one is not a burning laser pointer. Unfortunately for anybody who was looking for a burning laser pointer, this isn't the one. I find this to be a very, very good presentation laser pointer or just a good one to mess around with if you don't want to worry about burning stuff. So this laser does not have an adjustable focus and it is not able to burn. So that's pretty much all there is to know about the specifications of this laser. There's one button on this laser and it's the button to turn the laser pointer on and off and it's right below the safety label and I don't really like this type of button. It's the type where you have to hold it down to use the laser. You can't just press it once. So that's the first thing I would change about this laser and the second thing is that this laser takes two AAA batteries and I hate the lasers that take triple A's or double A's or anything like that. I think all of them should have rechargeable batteries but this one takes two triple A's. You unscrew this cap right here on the bottom and you put in two AAA batteries positive side up. So once you have those batteries in there the laser should turn on just fine. Now the website does advertise that this laser has a negative feedback sensor system and what that basically means is that they're saying the laser will stay at the same powerful strength from the second you turn it on till the second the batteries are completely dead. So unlike some of those other cheap Chinese laser pointers that will kind of dim out as the battery is dying, this one stays powerful up until the moment the battery is dead. So I'm now going to move on to showing you how strong and visible this laser is in different lighting settings and because this is a true 5 milliwatt and it's not like the Chinese ones that fake their numbers and are a bit higher than they actually are, the beam on this one really isn't that visible. So I'm in a kind of dimly lit indoor setting and you can't really see the beam on this laser. I mean if I zoom in you might be able to see it catching some dust particles but the beam really isn't that visible indoors at all. I'm going to move to an outdoor setting and it's even worse. I mean you can still see the dot and the dot's very bright indoors and outdoors. And you can see that dot for very very long distances outdoors but the beam on this one just isn't really visible. So that's why I said this would make a good presentation laser pointer. The beam on this one really isn't visible indoors or outdoors during daytime but that dot is very bright and visible so it would be good for pointing things out. And even in a completely dark nighttime setting like this one the beam is still just barely visible to me and I don't even know if you guys will be able to see it on camera. I can mostly see it when I'm looking down the line of the laser. If I look at it at a sideways angle, I'm not even really able to see that line. So if you were looking for a laser pointer with a very visible beam, you're going to want to go with a different laser pointer. This is better for pointing things out because like I said, that dot is very bright, but it doesn't really have a good beam to it. And on the contrast, some of you may be looking for a laser pointer like that if you wanted to be a bit more discreet and point at things without people knowing where you are. And I'm not really going to speculate what kind of situation you would need to be pointing at things with a laser pointer and being hidden and not having people follow the beam back to you, but if you were looking for a laser pointer like that, this would probably be a good bet. 
And I'm also going to use this opportunity to explain the third issue that I had with this laser. The first one was the fact that it has a button you have to hold down. The second one is the fact that it takes AAA batteries and not a rechargeable battery. And the third one, and the most significant one, is that my laser actually isn't pointing straight. And I'm going to do my best to show you guys this, and it's not too easy. I hope that you guys can see the beam in this dark setting, and I do have a better shot of it to show in just a moment, but... My beam is straying to one side just a bit, and it's definitely noticeable, and it is kind of annoying. Like I said, I am the second owner, so the first owner might have dropped it, or it may have come this way. But I'm going to show you that better shot now, and I used a hot tub to kind of show you the beam in the fog, because in fog and mist, you can really see the beam on any laser, even a weak one. And once I get down to eye level and I line up the laser with the camera, you guys will be able to see that the beam of this laser is leaning a lot to the right. And it is a minor annoyance, but I would like to think that Wicked Lasers would manufacture their product in a way where the laser would be straight and aligned with the laser pointer. And I really don't think it was a drop because the outside of this laser is in perfect condition. There's not a scratch on it, so it might have been like jostled or something, but it's not loose either. If I try shaking it, it doesn't move, so... I do think it probably came this way, and I hope it's just a defect with mine and not with all of them. Besides that, and the fact that you have to hold down the button to use it, and the fact that it takes AAA batteries, everything else was very good about this laser. I like how it's actually accurately represented with its power output. And although it's $20 to $30 more than the average green 5mW laser pointer, it's still the most reasonably priced laser pointer on WickedLasers.com, and I really hope they bring it back into stock someday. And if that issue with the beam being off center is just with my pointer and not with the rest of them, then I would give this one a pretty good rating. It's a very high end 5 milliwatt laser pointer for a pretty reasonable price and I do think it has a very strong dot, although you can't see that beam, so it would be good for presenting or if you just wanted to mess around with a pointer that's not too strong but is kind of visible. And I really do love the weight and the sleek, discreet look of this one. So that's going to wrap up my review of Wicked Laser's Core 5 milliwatt 532 nanometer green laser pointer. If you guys found this video helpful or informative in any way, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing laser pointer reviews just like this one. And as always, guys, thank you for watching from Xbox Mod 360.